that people could tolerate. Mm -hmm. uh, ten, when I first came on the show, I had hepatitis C, but the only drug they had was interferon. Mm -hmm. And it was horrible. People would rather die than to take that mm -hmm. drug, and a lot of them did. Mm -hmm. But now they have a new drug on the market that clears hepatitis C mm -hmm. in 12 weeks, you take the pill for 12 weeks. Mm -hmm. Granted, I'm, 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 I'm still blessed because I'm a veteran, mm -hmm. but the pill cost, that 12, that 12 week supply of that drug cost $96,000. Mm -hmm. But because I'm a veteran, you I was able, able to get, get it. Uh -huh. And most, a lot of people is able to get it too. One way or the yeah, other. Yeah, uh -huh. but, uh -huh. I, but there's still several people that that drug is out of range for them. Mm -hmm. But thank God that I, now I'm cured of, of, of uh, Hepatitis C. Mm -hmm. A lot of a lot of my friends died with hepatitis C because they had cirrhosis of the liver. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But also, the other thing is, uh, uh, and we, if we can get, and and people uh, talk to me about all the time. Aren't you promoting drug use? And I say, look, mm -hmm. no, we're not promoting drug use because we give away clean syringes. Mm -hmm. They're going to use drugs anyway. One way or the other. Uh -huh. Whether they have to use a sterile syringe uh -huh. or whether they share a syringe with somebody else, they're going to shoot the dope. Mm -hmm. And my job is to keep them healthy long enough mm -hmm. that I can get them the help that they need mm -hmm. through drug treatment. Mm -hmm. And so that's why we do needless change. The other thing, the other, uh, and I, I was going to say, yeah, Nashville is uh, the 22nd. Mm -hmm number 22 in the country, country. Uh -huh. for HIV infection. Mm -hmm. We have approximately, I said, yeah, 21,000 people. Mm -hmm. The other thing is what's the reason we can see uh, the, uh, end. the end of AIDS is because they have a, uh, a new, they have a new uh, intervention called PrEP, uh -huh. P-R-E-P, mm -hmm. and that's pre-exposure prophylaxis. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like the morning after pill. So now people in high risk situations, mm -hmm. and it's particularly uh, men who have sex with men, mm -hmm. they can take a, uh, a drug called Truvada mm -hmm. and it will prevent them from getting HIV. Mm -hmm. Now don't mm -hmm. get me wrong, I'm not saying hey, you know, go out and have unprotected sex, mm -hmm. or, or you know, but what I am saying is that undetected viral load with with prep. Mm -hmm. That's how, that's why we can see it now, mm -hmm. because people with undetectable viral load, which I am a person living with HIV and have been mm -hmm. since the eighties, mm -hmm. my viral load is undetectable. So the chances of me transmitting HIV to a sexual partner mm -hmm. is slim and none. none. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when I say slim and none, they done done studies and there's been no zero conversion mm -hmm. among discordant couples. That means one positive, one, one negative couple mm -hmm. uh, with, with undetectable viral load. And it, it's, it's strange that on my way here today to mm -hmm. do this show, they was talking about organ donation mm -hmm. of people who are HIV positive. This is how we know HIV, mm -hmm. uh, the end of AIDS is near, uh -huh. because now HIV positive person can donate, donate. Uh -huh. an organ. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They can, not only can they donate an organ, they, they are now receiving organ mm -hmm. before they wouldn't even give, give a, the blood. I mean, not yeah. the blood, but a, they wouldn't even give a HIV positive mm -hmm. person mm -hmm. an organ because mm -hmm. they were like, "Oh, he got HIV, he's gonna die anyway. Mm -hmm. Why would we give him an organ?" Mm -hmm. So, man, this this is really some exciting times in the HIV AIDS world. Okay, and so what we're gonna do? We're gonna take this final commercial break, uh, Brother Carter. Okay. Uh, uh, Crowder. Crowder, and then we're going to, I know, uh, <laughs> I know, and, I know. And, and then we're going to come back and we're going to have our final okay. segment. We'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. All of the conversations that we had with it, all you used to be moaning and groaning yeah, and rough yeah. and stood and 
yeah. telling people this and whatever and et cetera. And then you come in and announce today <laughs> that we're moving toward within the next few years. And, you know, I thought it was an eternal kind of thing. Yeah. It was. Yeah. It, it was, was then. That, yeah, it was. At that, at that time, time we, sure it was. The uh -huh. only hope was just try to live as long as we you could. could. But, That's right. Uh -huh. Yeah, now, but now, yeah. Well, that, okay, okay. Okay. Thank you. Welcome back to the final segment of the show for today. We're talking to Mr. Ron Crowder, and he's given us some information in reference to the uh, status of HIV and AIDS in Nashville. And I think I must say up front, uh, Mr. Crowder, that uh, the information that you are reporting today is very, very positive and uh, well hoped for information because I can remember when uh, <clears throat> you came to me and, and dealing with the same kind of situation and it was moaning and groaning, not only in reference to what happened in Nashville, but all over oh, the world yes, in a real yes. sense. And now you're telling us that there's a possibility that we might see the end of AIDS within the next half century, I mean, uh, half decade or so. Yes. Go on, talk about yeah. it. For for yeah, second. Dr. Haney, you're right. You're absolutely right. We're very optimistic that the end of AIDS will occur within the next five to 10 years. We're very optimistic. Uh, that's not to say that people sh still shouldn't take the same precautions as they, as, they t as they have taken before. While, all of, while the optimism is, is good, there are some things that I'm gonna tell you that's, that's not so good. good. Mm -hmm. For example, HIV is still disproportionately uh, affects people of color. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. People of color who gets a, who get HIV seem to get sicker, mm -hmm. get sicker quicker, mm -hmm. and they die sooner. Mm -hmm. Now, 